If you've been wanting to sell coloring books or coloring pages, but you just don't know where to start or it feels too difficult, then keep watching. I'm gonna show you five amazing Canva apps that you can use to create and sell coloring books and coloring pages. It's so easy, it's gonna blow your mind. Hi, I'm Cassie, welcome to my channel where I share tips to help you make passive income. Really quick before we get started, my new course, Printables Profit Blast, is open for enrollment right now. I'm only taking 15 students. The price is a special founding member's price, so you'll wanna get in on that deal because this is the only time it's gonna be that low. So if you wanna start selling printables, this is your chance to get in at a super low rate. The link's in the description. So if you don't know yet, Canva has a bunch of apps that you can use to do all different things like create clip art, make animations, create avatars, make pictures into videos, all sorts of different cool things. I love making coloring pages to sell, but sometimes it's kind of difficult to find just the right pictures that I want to use in my coloring pages, or a lot of times other people have used the same images, so my coloring books and coloring pages don't look unique. And then of course my stuff won't stand out and nobody's gonna wanna buy it. By creating my own images through these apps, I never have to worry about having duplicate content of someone else. Most of the apps you don't have to have a pro account for, but a couple of things I'm gonna show you, you will need a pro account for. So I would recommend having one, but if you don't, you can still do some of these with the free Canva account. So let me show you my favorite AI apps to use in Canva to make coloring books. So I have a US letter document open right here. That's the size that I usually make my coloring pages. The first thing we're gonna go to is apps and then we're gonna search for coloring book and then just click on that one. And that's the only one that comes up. That's the actual name of the app. Notice that down here, you only get five credits on this app each day and it regenerates every day. So you're kind of limited the amount that you can make. So you just want to put in a description of exactly what your coloring page should look like. So I put a zoo scene with a monkey hanging from a tree. One thing I don't love about this one is how dark the monkey is. Um, so I'm going to try one more. So I did a giraffe in a field of flowers. That one turned out pretty cute. So these images are going to be square. So there are a couple things you can do with that. So you can put like a border around or you can put some words above it. Okay, so now we're going to go back to apps again and I'm going to add a page. The next thing we're going to use is Magic Media. And I don't know if this is technically an app or if it's just a feature, but it's right here on the side. And then you can just put in what you want to create. So you can do images here or you can go to graphics and do it that way. So like if you do a doodle, zebra standing in a field with big trees. Now this one you get 500 credits for the month. So you get more credits with that one. So it gave me four different options here. I think I'll go with this one here. Okay, so now I want to show you on images, you can also do that. So snowman with a snowy background coloring page. I'm ready for summer to be over, so I'm sending out the snow vibes here. So this one, they kind of missed the mark with the blue background. But these other ones are pretty cute. This one has an orange nose, so that's a problem. This one's really cute. So there's two ways the two ways that I showed you that you can make the images in here. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna go back to the apps and then we're gonna search Doodle Craft. Now this one, the images turn out a little more like for younger kids, like preschool, kindergarten kids, which I feel like a lot of the AI coloring pages turn out more detailed for like adults or older kids. So this is a good way if you wanted to make coloring pages for younger kids. A pumpkin and a cat and a pile of leaves. Okay, so this one is one where I was saying that a pro account would come in handy. So they always put these brown backgrounds. So what I do with these is just go to my background remover and then it turns it white. Well, it turns it clear and my background is white. So then you can enlarge this a little bit bigger so that it fits the page. You could put a little um, fall saying over the top of it or something like that um, just to make it a little bit more 
unique and make it yours, but see how the lines are thicker and the details are a lot less. So this is good for like elementary school kids, younger elementary school kids or preschool. So the next one is Dolly, I think, or Dolly. I don't know how you say it. This one right here. And this one, you only get 24 credits per month. So you could potentially make one coloring book in here per month. But it's free, so you can't complain. So you can see down here, this usually does color images. So I'm writing my description and then I'm writing coloring page at the end. So Santa Claus holding a Christmas gift standing by a Christmas tree coloring page. I didn't like these because both of them, their head was cut off. So I'm trying it again. Okay, so I put a penguin with snow background coloring page. So I got these two. And these are less detailed as well, so these would be good for younger kids. So we got that one and this one. I'm not crazy about this one. It looks a little weird, a lot weird. So we won't use that one. That's the thing with AI. You just have to be careful and just check out the pictures that it makes for you and make sure that you like them because otherwise people are going to complain about what they look like. And then we have Quick Gen. And this one usually does color pictures too. So you'll have to um, say coloring page at the end. You only get five credits each day on this one as well. So a fox surrounded by fall leaves, and then I'm gonna say coloring page. Oh, that one's pretty cool looking. You can use these coloring books that you created on Canva with these apps to sell on Amazon KDP, on your own website as coloring pages or coloring books, or on Etsy as coloring pages or printable coloring books. When you're making your Etsy listing, they are going to ask you if your product is generated by AI. So be sure you mark that just to be transparent and so that people know what they're buying. If you want to see some other ways to make coloring books, be sure to watch this video right here next.